Good morning, Marmy. Happy Wednesday. I'm starting my morning off making buckwheat flour pancakes for the kids. It's like, what time? 9.30. The big kids have been up playing video games since like seven. It's like everyone hates sleep, not just in summertime, but all the time, they all hate sleep. They'll get up at the crack of dawn and they don't wanna go to sleep at night, which is worse in the summer. So they're going to bed like past 9.30 or something, which is okay for the big kids, but for Ajith, I feel like that's a little bit late. And then still getting up like at seven or before seven and I'm just like, oh my gosh. So this is actually the light buckwheat. So buckwheat, there's a dark version and a light version. I actually didn't even know what version I was buying when I bought the second pack, but my first pack was dark. So they look more like chocolate pancakes. These look more like an in-between kind of light brown kind of color. They look more like regular pancakes. So if you have kids that are like particular, maybe start with a buckwheat flour that's light in color so it looks more like regular pancakes less likely to fuss about it i guess and there we have them they look pretty good i've completely lost nice beef bologna maddie It's a good party? I took away screens. Here's what happened. Huh? Guys, just be careful. Like, no, there's a desk beside you and you need to be careful of each other. Mom, he did this to my bed. Where's your mattress, Ajith? It's in the It's in. I'm in here. Your, your triple-decker bed looks like an Oreo cookie. <laughs> yeah, is that funny? It's a good party. But guys, you have to leave the door open. We have a giant Oreo on sale. That's the Kids are crazy upstairs. My poor pup is bored. Hi, Hudson. Hi. You taking a nap? Is he boring? Did everyone go upstairs? I'm sorry. Hi. The sweet is rolling right over. It's like, give me a belly rub. Give me a belly rub. Hi. Hi. Hello, Hudson. <laughs> so today, the, the, we are going, going to the airport. No. Okay, we're going to go get new... Um, what? Today, we are going to go get our passport pictures done because me and the details have expired. But Gabir's yeah, yeah, is just coming with do. us. So passport pictures done. The place we went, it was like pretty quick and painless. Um, Ajith kept turning to the side as if he was having mug shots taken instead of looking straight forward, which he thought was I, hilarious. I had, I, I was What is mug shots? Like the ones you do in jail. What were you saying, Ajith? I pretended I was doing picture jail. Picture, yeah, j pictures in jail. That's not what we were doing. He's, doing he'd do his front shot and not look completely straight, and then he'd turn to the side. I was like, Ajith, stop it. We're not doing mug shots. We he thought it was hilarious. It, I, I want to do it like this and like this. I know, but when we're doing passport photos, I'm telling you to start. Listen, I'm telling you to stay forward when you're doing it, right? Oh, why? Yeah, all right, all right. So this is one of those situations where I was like, just just get out, get whatever you want, get out. Because they were just like, like Ajith was doing like mug shots. Uh, Jordan and Kabir were running around, they wanted to get like Robux gift cards. I'm like, that is never gonna happen, never. I was like, just just get a treat and get out. Robux gift cards and they have Robux on them. Yeah. Whatever. When I said Robux, when I said Roblox gift card in the store, you told me it was wrong. Now I said Robux and you told me I'm saying it wrong. Can I win? I can't win. Moms can't win. So we got home and I took the plunge and made a hair appointment. So you see all this like dead orangey blonde in the bottom? I'm gonna get it all dyed black again. So I'm gonna be like bringing, bringing Tina back. We're bringing Tina back. So that's later tonight. I went out and got my hair color done, so it's this nice, beautiful black color now. No more like faded orange leftover bleach. So I'm really happy about this. I think it looks like nice and fresh. And I find when hair is darker, it actually looks healthier and it was really damaged at the ends. So the black is now covering that up. So I'm excited about this. I feel like I'm starting to feel a little bit like my pre-pandemic self again. I mean, not that I was in a hot mess then, but I'm starting to feel a little bit more like myself. So, the kids and I have discovered the love of a new movie series. Guys, do you want to tell everyone the movie series we're going to watch? Back to the Future. So the other day, I don't even know if I shared it in this vlog. 
We watched Back to the Future, the first one. So when you watch this movie after a long time, you realize that A, it's still like, really funny so many years later, and B, that their idea of PG is very different than my idea of PG. Like the language is not, it's not stellar. So if you're gonna rewatch this with your kid, be careful. Doc was thinking he could build a time machine car. Yeah, and did he? Mom. Yes. Yes. And I need some advice. My beloved puppy Hudson, for some reason, decided to pick up this side of the carpet and start chewing it. And as you can see, I caught him really early on. It's not something he's ever done before, so I'm not sure why he's doing it. I mean, he did do it on the mat that I had in front of this door and it got destroyed, but it's like one of those thread mats, so I just got rid of it. And then on this mat in the kitchen, early, early on, he had bitten this side, and then I sprayed it a bunch of times with that spray that doesn't taste good, and then I would like actually make a loud noise when he would do it, and he stopped. So I'm trying to do the same with this. I just don't understand why he started this all of a sudden. Like he was never doing it before. Now he's almost 11 months old and now he's chewing the side of the carpet. Like I thought I was past this phase. I thought he was gonna do whatever damage he was gonna do. Another day, another mini road trip. Where are we going, kids? Actually, where are we going? Where we have it in one and a half years. Water came on my hand. Oh, there's water on you? Where are we going? Jordan, you where know where we, we have it in one, of a, one and a half years. Oh, so where is it? Down Not more than one and a half years, two years. Downey's farm. Yeah, to the farm. We're going to the farm. What do you want to get, Ajit? Donuts! Donuts from the farm? What about you, Kabir? What do you want to do at the farm? Yeah, rollerblading. They don't have rollerblades at the farm, but they have a big bouncy pillow thing that I hope is open. Bouncy pillow. Remember those, like, bouncing trampolini things, Shoda? Oh, wait. I saw a picture of your friend, actually, on Instagram with his parents there. That's how I knew they were open. So it's way hotter than I anticipated, and actually the ground's a little bit uneven for our breed's mom. So we're just going to take our time with it. So they moved the trucks over here, guys. These used to be on the other side. The zip line. Come on, let's go. Okay, one second. I think you can go now, Jeets. Go. Good, good waiting. Kabir, Jota, you guys want to go with him? No. No? Let's go. Hey, Jeets. Come on. Hi. Okay, let's see. What's your Forty. Forty. Three. Good job. Okay, let's see. Let's see, Dad. Do you want to get out of the way? Oh my goodness, it is so hot. We've been here almost two hours and I'm like ready to fall over. The kids are having a nice time. On the zip line the kids were doing, someone started a little bit of a fight with Harper. It was like, because the two kids were on one zip line and it's a five minute time limit, right? So you assume it's five minutes per kid, right? And anyways, he asked me the time, it had exactly been five minutes. Regardless, even before that, like the second one opened up, so Jodo Kabir decided to go at the same time. This guy's like, both at the at the same time? Come on, it's the honor system, five minutes. And then Harper turns to me and I was like a little ways away in the field with Ajith. And he's like, how long has it been? I'm like, it's actually, it was exactly five minutes. I got on at 2.30 and it was 2.35 because he told me, let me know when five minutes are up. Because he was worried about like, oh, taking too long, not realizing it. Um, and so this person's like giving him grief and he's like, just chill, man. It's a kid's ride, right? And then he's like, we set a timer. And he was like, and, and the person behind him, some other woman was like, well, your time is slow. Like, it's hot. I get it. People are standing there with their kids. But it was just ridiculous. And Harper, like, Harper, you guys know Harper. He's a very calm individual. Like, he, he doesn't start stuff with anyone. Um, but like when I just spoke to Jora now, it seemed like he was kind of upset about it. He's like, I feel like they kind of yelled at me saying, come on now, now you're using both of them. Like it was, it was really, um, really ridiculous. It was all fine. And I was, so I told him, I'm like, you know, just, just relax. I told everyone, like, just relax, just leave it alone. But it was like one of those situations where you're like, wow, why is this happening? Okay, so my head is starting to hurt, but we went into the farm market and we got and we some. And got donuts! So these are my favorite donuts ever. And, um, hashtag keto life but I'll watch everyone else enjoy them. Look at your back. 
I did, however, buy myself these things called chippy nuts. They are jalapeno flavored peanuts, but it says chip coated peanuts. They literally Bye. taste like chips. Look at the ingredients. There's like wheat and all this stuff in it, which I think some of this coated stuff is there, but they really just like taste like chips. So this is probably not keto at all. I had a few and then I was like, yeah, maybe I should just eat the ones I brought because I actually brought ah. lemon, lime and chili flavored peanuts with me or something. What's wrong? Huh. <laughs> Actually, what was your favorite part of the farm? Uh, wiping the tractor, wiping the tractor. Which tractor? On the, the on the track? The bigger one. Did oh, the know? big green one? Oh, yeah. there's a big green tractor and you there was a steering wheel in it, right? Yeah. Yeah, he loved it that. It was like this. Yeah, and it was a huge steering wheel and you got to turn it. High fives. Yes. One, one, one. One. Try it. You didn't even taste it yet. How is it? Is it the best donut you ever had? Yeah. <laughs> they're coming, they're right there, look. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I finally made some effort, changed into a summer dress. We are going to a patio for dinner. We were able to call and get a reservation. I think everything's like full, but it just so happened that they had a reservation that just got canceled, and so they were able to fit us in. So now we're in a bit of a rush to get there on time, um, but Harper's just walking Hudson. So we were gone for like, all, for I think like four hours. We came home, we were home with Hudson for like an hour and a half. He had dinner and stuff, and I told Harper, I'm like, at least take him for a walk. Hmm? I don't know. How's your pasta, Dora? So, well, walking around Yes. Yeah, yeah you can. Not yeah. keto, but eating it anyways. Okay. Nothing makes Saturday night takeout better than ice cream. Yeah. Jeets? Okay, Jeets, let's go. Oh, I have mine more than everybody. It's not, it's just maybe the cone, the way they did it. Yeah. Jeets, how's your ice cream? You guys are up for special treats today. And I'm like such a dog mom, I'm like, oh my god, I have to go to Hudson. But I had like non-keto dinner and I'm like, I'm gonna share ice cream with Harpreet. So we got a cone. He got some kind of, what kind is it? Espresso flake or something? I'm gonna have, to we're gonna share. Man. Happy yeah. Sunday. I forgot to end the vlog yesterday, but here we are, tired but happy kids. Funny story, last night when we went to dinner, actually we ended up sitting beside a family that we know. So it was like so random, unplanned, completely unplanned. Um, and we got to chit chat with them at the table like beside us, which was so nice. So yesterday felt like almost a normal day. So it's like a completely different world. Things, they've actually moved up step three of our reopening plan here in Ontario to July 16th instead of the 21st. So things are gonna be opening up like next Friday and like means like pretty much everything is gonna be open. Some places with limited capacity, but open nonetheless. So it's a whole new world. I'm gonna end this vlog off here on a high note that we had an amazing day yesterday and things are looking up. Let me know how things are for you in the comments down below. As always, I hope you guys had fun joining us this week and if you did join us again next time, if you enjoy our vlogs and videos, subscribe to the channel and stay a while. Join the Mermi. March on Mermi. Mm -hmm.